All right, this is the TCAP practice test for grade 8 to question number 66. The graph below shows the balance of Joey's bank account over time. Looks like he got a little bit of money there for himself in the middle, but whatever it is, it is. Um, based on the graph, which statement about Joey's bank account is true? Now, the bottom section, or the, the bottom axis, lists time. So we're assuming this is time going up. This, the earlier periods are here and the later ones are here. The balance, which would be how much money he has in his account, I'm assuming goes up as well, unless it says otherwise. So we're going to look at the possibilities that were given and see if we can find out one. F says the balance in Joey's account was highest at the end of the time period. Here's the end of the time period, and it looks like it is the highest amount. So we're going to have to you know, look at the other ones to see, but we're going to put this one as our provisional answer. G says the balance in Joey's account was lowest in the middle period. Well, the middle period probably represents something like right in here, but at this point in the middle, he's not doing all that badly. If this is the exact middle, it's still not the lowest point. Here's the lowest points, right? So G is not the right answer. H says the balance of Joey's account was constant through the time period. It f goes up and down like crazy. He doesn't have a constant. Constant would mean it stayed the same. That would be like flat line. And the last one, the balance in Joey's account increased steadily over this period. An increase would show that it goes up steadily. It would make like a nice line. His balance is all over the place, much like everyone else's. So the answer, the only answer that really makes any sense at all, is F for number 66.